Hi everyone, Aiden here at the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Inno Tire Hold 2-bike rack and seeing how it fits on the back of our 2023 Kia Sorento. This is going to be a platform style bike rack, holding the bike in these trays and by our tires using this dual wheel mount design where we've got wheel hoops on either side, making no frame contact with the bike. That's going to make it good for carbon frame and alternative frame bikes. And if you're looking to carry some e-bikes, you're in luck because this can support 60 pounds per bike. So the tire hold is a pretty versatile rack. I like this dual wheel mount design a lot. This may not be my favorite one, but I think it's gonna work pretty okay on the Sorento. Like many other racks in this class, it has the ability to tilt away with the bikes loaded. That's where we're gonna run into our one main issue with the Sorento though. So just pull this handle, you'll see some red stickers right there that lets us know it's released very easy to tell and easy to reach but with the very minor tilt there we'll see that we don't have clearance with this bike now i can flex the bike out of the way and make it clear but that's a pretty aggressive flex and i wouldn't want to do that that much Honestly, we usually recommend that if it's pretty close, but there's a good inch and a half to two inches here of overlap. And if you had even wider handlebars than this, then you'd be pretty much out of luck. So if you've got a smaller road bike, then I think you'd be okay. But just know that the tire hold doesn't tilt away very far. And because of how close it sits, this is gonna be an issue with the Sorento. I'll close this down. If I just hit that button there, and then it'll just lift back into place. With that all being said though, that hatch was open enough where you could get in and out if you needed to. So if you're the type of person that leaves your bike rack and your bike on the back of your car so it's ready to go for whenever you're gonna ride, then you still do have good enough access to the back, just not enough room to sit down and maybe change your shoes or put your helmet on. Getting the bike unloaded is pretty straightforward because it's the dual wheel mount design, it's pretty easy. And we've got silver buttons on the bottom we can push and then push out on the hoop. Make sure you hold onto your bike while you're doing this just because once you release that last one, nothing's holding it in place. And then we can just lift the bike up and away. And because those wheel arms open up all the way and there's nothing really left in the middle, then it's very easy to do because we don't have to fish this around any sort of central masts or other obstructions. And when we're done, those arms will ratchet back down and that prevents them from popping back up on their own. Some measurements to check out are gonna be our ground clearance. The lowest point at the back end is just below the handle where we have 18 inches of ground clearance. Overall, I think it's gonna be more than enough for the Sorento. There's a good rise in the shank on the bike rack and it angles itself upward just a little bit. So steep driveways and hills shouldn't be a problem. From the bumper, it sticks out 30 and a half inches. So it does add some length to the vehicle, but not a whole lot. It's pretty on par with most two bike racks. Just keep it in mind as you're driving around. And if we wanna save space while we're driving and maybe we don't have bikes loaded, just use this handle to fold it up. It'll lock in at this 45 degree angle position, but you can fold it all the way up on the Sorento perfectly fine. We don't have any clearance issues with the bumper there. And in this state, it's only sticking out 10 and a half inches, maybe 11 inches to the top right here. But overall, not bad. Very easy to park with and drive around with. It does partially block your license plate, but it'll be visible to most traffic cameras. And with your backup camera here, the handle is gonna be in the way of it, but I think you'll get good visibility overall. And luckily, your back window is fully open too. In the folded state, our turn signals and brake lights aren't covered. That might change depending on if you have bikes loaded and what those bikes look like, but in this state, it's not very obtrusive. Down at the bottom, we've got an anti-rattle knob that is used to tighten this up in the hitch, and it's also our locking point. So when that's in there and locked in place, no one can loosen this and take it out of your hitch. Plus, this comes with a cable lock that will feed through there so everything gets locked up under the one key, both your bikes to the rack and the rack to the vehicle. And this will work with an inch and a quarter or a two inch hitch with that included adapter sleeve on there. 
And overall, this higher hold is a pretty solid option. If you're looking into this dual wheel mount style, it's a great entry point. It doesn't do as many things as some of the other ones might, like the more aggressive tilting away for full hatch access, but depending on your bikes, it might work perfectly fine. And in those cases, I think this is a perfectly great option for the Kia Sorento. If you want something that's a bit of an upgrade, you can check out something like the Rocky Mounts Guide Rail. It's gonna be a big step up in quality of materials, the aggressiveness of the tilt and ground clearance. But I think for most cases on the 2023 Kia Sorento, the Inno tire hold is gonna be a great fit. Thanks for watching.